only me. What time is it? About eight, I think. Mm. One. I was missing you. Oh, what a night. Oh. You should have uh, jumped in with me. So should we talk about that? Shouldn't have come back, should I? I didn't say that. But I, I gave up hoping you'd be the next person through the door a long time ago. How could you leave it so long? I always imagined you being happy to see me. I am. I am happy. But it's not exactly the same way you left behind, Trisha. You know, things happen, people move on. You don't want me anymore. I don't know how I feel. I do still love you, Trisha. We could um, stand here all day talking and trying to get to know each other again. Oh. We could go back to bed. What are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. What's that? Holiday village. And I thought you were fretting about Benice and Nicola. Trying to think of anything but, to be honest. What are you going to do? Find some money, try and buy it. About your daughters? It was easier when it was just Benice who was in the wrong. How could Nicola lie about the baby, not just to Carlos, to me? I think that's something you're probably going to have to ask her. Oh. Just making some coffee. How is she? Not brilliant, actually. And how much of that is down to you? I'm not thrilled at the way things have turned out, if that's what you mean. And Bernice is. Well, if she'd have kept quiet, me and Nicola would have been on our honeymoon by now. And what would have been so wrong with that? Well, there I'd be, fussing over her, making sure she didn't overdo it, worrying about our baby. Only there wasn't one. It was all a lie. She must have been that frightened of losing you. Better I found out when I did, though, eh? She'll probably agree with you one day. Thanks for letting me stay, Diane. I know it can't be easy for you. I'm not too keen on Ashley finding out. He thinks enough people have betrayed him as it is. How are you doing with that coffee? Here you go. Thanks. Do you want one? No. Better go and get ready to face the day. You know, when I was trying to forget about you, tell myself that I shouldn't have feelings for you, I used to try and imagine Ashley's face the moment that he found out. And it worked for a bit. It made me realise I could never hurt him. And now we have. First the rabbit, then blood all over the flaming headline about us. Someone is on to us, I'm telling you. That was a week ago and nothing's happened since. <sighs> Maybe they're trying to make us sweat, trying to scare us. Well, in your case, I'd say it was working. <sighs> Don't you take anything seriously? Just chill out. Everything is fine, we're getting away with it. Are we? We just never get a chance to be alone together. Well, I might be able to get away from school. Could go to the chalet. Do no else for there. <laughs> okay. Sweet. All right. I am. We're not supposed to be meeting today, are we? No. Mark's getting a bit nervous about the chalet up there in the dark woods. Yeah, right. Be all right on your own. Bye. Some time to ourselves then. Morning. Hi. Hello. I was just off actually. Um, I really want a chance to have a chat with you both. You know, catch up, find out what's been going on. Well, I wouldn't know where to begin, would you, Cathy? There's such a lot, Tricia. Has been a long time. Yeah, well, 
Maybe we can grab a drink later or something, Kay. I'll get out from under your feet. Right. See ya. See you later. William Arnold. Imagine how Every well, this time must she be walks out the door, how will you know? Is it for ten minutes or another six months? Well, probably forever the way you two are going on. Oh, come on, man. She disappeared. You can't just forget how you felt all those months she was gone. I certainly can. She explained things to me. I know what she was going through. So why has she come back? Why now? She's here. That's all I care about. Oh, I was wondering, you know, uh... Well, it might be good for you if you uh, threw yourself back into your work or something for a bit. I'm not sure I'm in any state to do that. Well, you get you out of the house. Maybe take your mind off things. I doubt it. Oh, come on. I mean, there are people out there who need you. I mean, well, there's bound to be someone, isn't there? Well, they'll just have to find someone else, won't they? Yeah, well, uh, I'd better get off to work in a bit. Terry. Yeah? I was going to ask you a favour. It might not seem like I want company, but would you mind staying on a while longer? Can I use your phone? I'll just let Chris know what I am. Uh, this, uh, portion. Never been known to fail. I don't know, Seth. It doesn't feel right. I mean, it, it might cure the symptoms for a while, but not the problem. I mean, what happens when it runs out? There's plenty more where this came from. Yeah. Here, get it down there. Uh, oh, hang on. So much to wash it down with. Hi. <coughs> right. Oh, uh... Hmm. <laughs> mm. Ta. Yeah. Powerful stuff, that. Let me know how you get on. I will, Chef. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, hey, up, Charlie's awake. <laughs> Thirsty work all this sleeping, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Kay. I thought you were at work. I brought something for lunch. Thought you'd be hungry. You'll feel better with something inside you. I don't want anything. You used to love it when I made soup and we'd snuggle in front of the telly and watch The Love Boat or Mr and Mrs. It's hardly appropriate now, is it? Well, it's an ill wind. You could probably stand losing a few pounds. <laughs> and there was me thinking you were piling it on because of the baby. How could you? How could you say that to me? What? Well, if you don't want to eat in, perhaps we should all go out somewhere. Oh, so that everyone can see, oh, there she is. There's her that tried to track Carlos into marrying her. If you think I'm ready to face the world, Emily, you couldn't be more wrong. I once suggested we went to the wool pack. Actually, pet, there's not many know that you lied about being pregnant. Bernice, obviously. Carlos now, and oh, the liquor, I shouldn't wonder. Yes, all right, Mother. Nicola. Oh, and your father, of course, who for once is doing the right thing and standing by you. Nicola, I need to talk to you. I made you up a bed, so there's a room here for as long as you want. Oh, I'm not sure I need it. I'm moving back in with him, ain't I? <laughs> isn't that rather sudden? Well, it's not as if we just met or anything, is it? We were together for ages before I... Well, Marlon's been really understanding about all that. Well, have you filled each other in about what you've been up to these months? I I'm both of you. He knows I didn't. And it's not as if he got up to anything, is it? He was missing me too much. Don't you think you'd rather just stay here uh, until you know how things are going to work out? I just want everything to be back to the way it was before I went. And Marlon wants that. And we've both been really open with each other. So I think everything's going to be all right. You lied about being pregnant to me! It wasn't really a lie. Not like you mean. You said you were pregnant and you weren't. What else do you call it? I wanted to be. I knew everything would be all right if I was. <sighs> So nearly wait, didn't it? Last night, the things I said to Bernice. And she deserved it. Carlos was supposed to be mine. She stole him from How me. How could she have? He was never yours in the first place. Dad, you can't be taking her side in this. She's left me with nothing. You brought it on yourself. I would have got pregnant as soon as I could. No one would ever have known. And you blame Bernice for stopping you. Don't you? <sighs> Dad? Everybody else thinks I'm in the wrong. I thought I'd least have you with me. Dad... I don't know! 
At the moment, I can hardly bear to set eyes on either of you. Trisha's been very brave to come back here, knowing she'd have to face everybody and try and explain her actions. That's one way of looking at it. I'm not sure you've shown equal courage in explaining yours. What are you on about? Well, you haven't led an entirely blameless life while she's been away. No, whoa, no, 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 hang on a minute. I didn't think I'd ever see her again. I, I had one brief fling, it didn't mean anything. And I really can't see much of a problem with that. So you're going to tell her, right? Why? Because she deserves to know. You've no right to come here interfering. Hello. What's going on? It's up to you. I leave it to your conscience. Grandad? Marlon? It didn't mean anything. Well, who was she? It was practically a one-night stand, give or take. I can't believe it. All I ever thought about was you. Why couldn't you wait? Wait? I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Oh, there was a flaming postcard. Not mention of missing me, nothing. Well, when did it happen? It doesn't matter when it happened. Well, it does to me. How long did it take you to forget about me? I never did. Was it Chloe? I bet it was the little tart. She's been after It wasn't her. She's been with Scott since you were away. Oh, or you would have been tempted. No! Well, it wasn't Cathy. It was a locum at the vets, Rona. Rona? Sounds a right cow. It never even crossed my mind you'd be unfaithful to me. How can you call it that? I didn't even know you were still alive. I didn't care, you mean. Well, I can't do this anymore. Where are you going? I don't know. I've just got to get away from you. No, Trisha! Trisha! Oh, God. Fighting over him. Two of them on his wedding day. Anyway, uh, I wouldn't um, mind a bit of that hot Spanish blood in me. Ooh, neither would I. You've got a feel for Ashley, don't you? Eh? Zach, we came here to talk about us. No, aye, yeah. You all right, Seth? Charlie? Here, here. I don't know what's come over him today. What's up with Dog? No idea, love. Another part when you're ready, love. How's Benice feeling? How do you think? Even her own dad's turned against her. And there he is, sitting in the corner like nothing's happened. It's been pretty hard on him, Diane. He just wanted Nicola to be happy. And what about Benice? She should have kept quiet just so he could give his daughter a big send-off. Look, this isn't the most appropriate place to discuss business. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chris. I've got a family matter I've got to sort out. Fine. And when you have, make an appointment. We'll meet somewhere sensible. Look, I'm sorry. Just one minute. What do you think about this? The Holiday Village. Yeah. It's on the market. Here. I know. For more than it's worth. My father built it. Sold it off to pay Tara's tax bill. Yeah. Well, I think we should try and buy it back again. We. Oui. Your knowledge, my ideas. Trust me, Chris. I know how we can make a fortune on this. Look, hear me out. Mm. Not here. Ring me tomorrow. So how's he doing? Has he wanted to talk about it? He's keeping everything inside. Maybe you could get something more out of him. Oh, if only I could think of something to say. Discussing the sick patient? No, Ashley, I came to see how you are. Then why not ask me, then, instead of Terry? No, I was just saying, uh, Chris will be expecting me. No one's died here. My wife was having an affair and now she's left me. There's no need to talk about me as though I was some helpless child. Yeah, well, uh, I'd better get off. Would you like a drink? Well, I could certainly use one. Do you mind if I help myself? These finished with? Yeah. Life goes on a sea, Rodney. Not for Bernice, maybe. The whole world turns its back on your daughter and you just carry on as normal. Diane. When anyone in your family has ever needed you, where have you been? You're a disgrace. Diane, wait a second, please. 
You know, this hasn't exactly been easy for me. For you? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, it's a bit late to be asking me, don't you think? I realise maybe I haven't handled this in the best way. I suppose that's the nearest you'll get to admitting you were wrong. I just don't know what to say to them. I've always been there for Nicola. And I would have been for Bernice if you'd let me anywhere near. Let's not go down that road now, eh? Maybe I have been too hard on Bernice. All her life, Nicola's come to you when she's messed things up and you've written a cheque or got her a job. I just wanted the best for her. Well, you can't solve all problems so easily. There's no buying either of them out of this one, is there? Yeah, well, they brought it on themselves, haven't they? And you, in part. How do you mean? Nicola's never been said no to in her life. She's got used to always having her own way, so lying to Carlos about being pregnant didn't seem so wrong to her. So now it's all down to me, is it? Well, how about Bernice? Where did she learn that having affairs was no big deal? Oh, I think you're on thin ice there, Rodney. How is it we can never talk to each other without descending to this? It's your daughters you should be trying to talk to. Look, I want to see her. Bernice, so you can have another go at her. Tell her again how she's ruined everything for her perfect sister. No, so I can tell her I'm sorry. Sorry? You? Please, Diane. Let me see her. Come through the back. I'll see if she's up to it. There's uh, somebody to see you. Not now, Mum. What do you want? Is it more than enough to me yesterday? Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'd like to apologise, if you'll listen. Bernice? We'll leave you to it. I'll just be in the kitchen. Okay. It's... Uh... It's not been easy for me. For you? Nicola's my daughter. Yeah, so am I. I wanted her to be happy. Well, that's what we all want, isn't it? Only things keep getting in the way. I shouldn't have taken sides. I don't agree with what you've done. And it'll take me a while to understand it. I thought you came here to apologise. I realise that what's important to me is not to lose you again. Or my grandchild. Will you forgive me? It's not you, Sam. What? Sam! Wait till we get home! What are you on about? You're rubbing my leg. I'm not. What? Oh, Charlie! Oh, Charlie, get off my leg! Come here! Come here, Charlie! Come here, Charlie! He won't get off my leg! You're a Come here, you bad boy! Leave her alone. Take him home. I don't know what you're into him. Come on. At least someone fancies me. Oh, it's life in the old dog, yeah. One of them. What did you say to her? That she needs to ditch you if she's any chance of a decent life. What? Is that what I wanted to say to her? Hey, listen, Rodney. No, you listen! The only reason I'm not coming after you for what you've done is Bernice. She's under the illusion that you've got some kind of future together. Well, we both know that's not true. Now, wait. But the moment you let her down, hurt her in any way, I'll be there and your life won't be worth living. Do you understand? All right? Not really. I'm sorry, Marlon. I had no right to be jealous. Tricia, I want to believe you that nothing happened when you were gone, but I spent so long imagining with different blokes, being happy, getting married, and when I never heard from you, I didn't know what... I bought you these. I wrote to you every week, sometimes more. Telling you how much I loved you. I never dare send them though. They say everything, Marlon. I'll tell you exactly how I feel. What's he doing in there? We expect he just nipped in for a drink. In there? Nicola? You alright? You've been to see her, haven't you? 
Nicola. So you are taking her side. You're both my daughters. What am I supposed to do? She's ruined my life and you're in there making it up with her. Let's go back then, shall we? She's hurting just as much as you are. Oh, is she? We'll soon see about that. Nicola, don't go in there. Oh, why not? Don't want me showing you up again? Because she's in there with Carlos. They're together. Oh, Dad. I just thought by being here on neutral territory, it'd be easier to talk. Neutral? You spend more time here than you do at home. Listen to me, will you? Oh, I'm sorry. What I'm really trying to tell you is that despite everything, I really... Oh. What the flipping heck was that? Everyone all right? Don't touch anything. You said you weren't going to. I lied. Rodney, what the hell's going on? She's in there with Amy, hiding away. Why don't she come out and face me? Come on, let's get you home. I want to see her. I'm not going till I've seen the both of them. Oh, there they are. Got everything you wanted now, haven't you, you scheming cow? This is what you planned all along. That's not true. Oh, but there you were, hiding away together. Didn't want anyone to know, did you? 